I'm gonna get you over here this time on this side and just see see how it goes and my cut I'm gonna I'm gonna put my cut underneath this other one uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put some marks some marks on this so I can see it and oh I don't know maybe I'll I'll just use my felt tip sharpie and this one sharpie pen I have I've had this for years and I still have it and it still works you know why it still works because when I when I keep it in my nail bag I don't keep it facing straight up I put it upside down that way it keeps all it keeps everything dry, uh, wet and moist where the pin area is okay try that if you're gonna carry it in your nail bag okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold that right in there and I don't know how straight this line is out here uh, 17 and a half uh, yeah see it's off a little bit but I don't have to have it perfect right I'm just gonna I'm gonna line this up and I, I think I like that right like that. Okay, I've got it, I've got it underneath like he said. In fact, I'm gonna push it under a little bit further. I don't wanna go too far, but he did say 18 by 18. He let us, he said let it stick under a couple inches, so that's what, that's what I'm doing. Like that. And I've got my impact drill, and I'm just using the inch and a quarter and I've got my scratch all and I'm just gonna poke a hole here that's all I, that's all I gotta do to get it started okay Oh, I mean, how hard is that? The guy, the guy would have charged me, oh, I don't know, 100 and, 190 bucks to do this, or whatever it was, because he would have had to have gone to the store and, and all that good stuff. And now, I don't even, I don't even know if I'm going to go through the double layer. I think I'm not going to. I'm just going to go, I'm just going to go through the wood. Okay. So, that's what I'm going to do. This just sets the, starts the hole for me. I mean, you might think, can I just put a drywall screw through flashing? Yeah, sometimes, but but um, sometimes it flops over and it's hard to get started. So I just used my scratch all. Maybe I'll stick a couple more out here. Maybe a couple uh, in here. Is that going anywhere? Heck no. There's my flashing. 18 by 18. See, I didn't set that one all the way. it all I have to do there's my there's my little project I told this I told the uh, air conditioning guy I would do that months a couple months ago after we moved in and he said that's really the safest way because because when this heater turns on and it's gas 
the flames come out and mind you they're on the inside of here but if for any reason something heats up or it spits or something happens it's nice to have this sheet metal flashing down I don't know if I should put another screw there uh, where the overlap is what do you think you think we should I guess we can I don't like I don't usually like messing with my uh, I try to keep my scratch all as tight the tip as sharp as possible and in fact I think I think I got a couple nails in my nail bag isn't that funny I got some nails in my nail bag usually I don't use nails but I'll keep them in there I've got an eight penny nail I'm just gonna start that see look at that it's even starting to bend the nail Oh, it's bent it's bent it a little bit Wow I'll see I'll see what I can do I, I've got I've got another nail but let's just see if I can't drive that in there this one especially right here you there and I, and I got some other I had some other little nails I always I always keep stuff in my nail bag more times than not I use screws nowadays when I first started years ago we didn't have screws we we had screws but we never used screws for stuff we use nails for everything for for residential but nowadays hey I use I use my drywall screws for all kinds of stuff okay there's my my deal 18 inches and it sticks in a little bit and it's 18 inches because I overlapped that an inch and and there there's my project cost me what uh, about 15 bucks instead of $35 $32 had I had I got a piece of flashing 24 by 24 or 24 by 30 at the store because they didn't have any 18 by 18 then I still would have had to cut it down and so there you go I use that instead and see now I've got all I've got all this nice flashing for something else I don't know what I'll leave it in the garage or see see where I'm at up here in the attic got a nice little area look at look at this I've got all this stuff stacked up here probably I shouldn't have anything up here I don't know but I'm just gonna leave this flashing up here and when I need it I got it well that's all I got for this time but I'll be back with more videos